Philippians chapter 2, verse 3, let nothing be done through strife or vainglory, but in lowliness of mind, let each esteem other better than themselves. Step honest to the hopefully like elder apostles, slave to be saved. Lord willing, start with those at the Great Millstone Church. Shalom on to the rest of the brothers under this truth, you know, teaching it, you know, under this doctrine from you elder brothers, the elder brothers, on down to you younger brothers, the, the younger brothers, and all true faith and sincerity. Obviously, to the men here, you know, at our camp, my camp, you know, Shalom, if you give a diligence, man, uh, and all true faith and sincerity. Once again, and to the rest of the believers, you believers, you men, women, and children of the Israelite race. Shalom, ultimately to the elect, those that will go on to be found, to have been in the house of David, you know, in which we hope we will be. So, yeah, this is something I'm noticing in the spirit. And um, you're not, you're not, you're not in competition. You see what I'm saying? Let's address this. Because this is just something I'm see seeing, pe perceiving in the spirit, which is written to go on in the churches. You know what I'm saying? And these are the, the matters that one is to be concerning themselves with, especially if you are in, in, are in a, a, you know, a head seat, if you will, you know, which is, you know, it's order. That's what it is. But I'm just saying, you know, um, trying to less emphasize that, you know, and more so, like I said, the message, which is these particular things are supposed to be looked for among these churches, especially by those that's, you know, in the steep and instead of, you know, as I said, being ahead, you know, and then, you know, from the, from the, from the, uh, from the rest of the parts on down, you see what I'm saying? But, um, you know, the lead, whatever, but you're not, you, 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 this is really to you younger brothers, man. You're not in competition. And then you carnal brothers is ready to fucking fall out. You're not in competition, man. You know, it's not even close. It's not even close to being that. You're not in competition with one another. You know, you are not competing, you know, with your leads, your heads, your fellow brother next. You're not doing that. That's not what's going on. And that's some complete young nigga shit, man. You see what I'm saying? You completely like a baby if you are caught up in that, man. You know, you like a little ass kid. You know, mentally, spiritually, and physically. And it, it and it literally rubs you the wrong way when you sense these things like that, man. You know, and it's going to be things that, you know, go on like this. It's, it's, it's supposed to happen, man. Because you're dealing with different spirits. You're diff dealing with different levels of experience to levels of no uh, no experience. You know, no level of experience at all, man. You see, so one with experience could definitely deem this to be true as far as a trait, you know, tendencies being to be found amongst, you know, brothers first and foremost, or people but first and foremost, but specifically brothers with no experience. Because really, at the end of the day, this truth does come down to, you know, us being glorified, you know. Really, you know, after your Yahweh me out shot gets his glory because we've been down so much. So you have a lot of Jakes, right? Because that's just what our people caught up in. You have a lot of brothers and sisters, you know, that want to prove themselves in the wrong way, you know, which could go on to be, you know, to where you competing with one another, you know. Look, my realm's bigger than your realm's, you know what I'm saying? That type shit. That's not supposed to be found amongst those that are in, the, in, in, in this truth. You know, and you come into this truth because obviously you want to be saved and you know, you know, the status that they have us at as people is not right. You know, it's not, you know, it's just not it, man. So at the end of the day, there is, you know, glory um, to be sought out, out of this, which is, you know, righteous, you know, but the scriptures say, if it let, let any man that glory, glory, glory in this, that he know it to me. You see what I'm saying? But not to the point it's, it, you're competing, you know, with, you're thinking you're, you're competing with, you know, those that's in, in this truth. That job is off, man. Because at the end of the day, everybody, you know, that's going to be called, going to get the same pity. Now, that's not to say there's not going to be a hierarchy because you're going to have definitely, a, uh, you know, the ranks found amongst Israel, you know, once, you know, Israel is named once again. 
you know, to the to the to the world, to the habit, to the earth. So you're gonna have one hundred forty four thousand, and they're gonna be even an order amongst them. Start with you know, obviously Yahweh Shah and King David. You know what I'm saying? On down, man. All right. And um, first and foremost, your 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 main thought process is you need to need to just be making it. You know, just like amongst women, you're gonna have you know, uh, uh, you know, many many of you women. You know, you're going to be in the stead of being, you know, a part of a, a, an estate, once again, a true estate, you know. As it says, as pillars and, in, in, you know, as polished pillars, you know, in a palace. Well, that's more than one. So you're going to be amongst more than one woman. So you got women that get caught up in that competing. You know, they don't like the idea of, you know, one, one, more than one wife because, you know, they, they feel like they're in competition. You see what I'm saying? But this is not even about y'all. This is about the, the, the men first and foremost. Okay. So that's just something I wanna I wanna, you know, speak on. This is Philippians two and three. It says, Let nothing be done through strife. You see, let nothing be done through strife. You should be doing nothing in this truth to strive, you know, and be on bullshit, get on some dummy. Lord gonna fucking kill you, man. Whoever doing that, you know, he gonna he'll judge you. Cause if you if you if you of his men, you know, he gonna chastise you. And he can get you real bad because you ain't gonna be able to fall out the truth. No, no way, you know, uh, no way, no how. And also, if you're not, shit, you're gonna be, you, 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 hey, you just about to just, you know, pretty much take a round trip. You know, this calling was basically just a round trip for you to come in, hit or two, get in, you know, uh, leave off that same, come in off that same calling, you know. Leave the world off that calling, that same calling, and come back to the world, go back to the world off that same calling, like a round trip ticket, man. You see what I'm saying? So if you're not of the Lord's men, you on your way up out of here, man. You know? And so it will behoove you to put on there for the elect. You know, it will behoove all of us to put on there for the elect, you know, and not have these traits. So let none, none be done through strife. You know? Uh, the Lord doesn't like that, man. Like I say, you just on some dummy, I'm a, I'm a, you know, or vain glory, you know, it says, yeah, you, you know, when you try to bring something out, it's just to get, you know, glory, or you do videos just to get glory, you try to say something, you know, provocative just to get some vain glory, or say, I said it first, or try to hurry up and do, you know what I'm saying, like, it's just for the wrong intents, and it, and it, and it's usually do when you're trying to compete with one, and you damn sure not compete, you're not competing with nobody. You know, you can't, you bugged out if you could think you could compete with your lead. You know what I'm saying? Or your head. That shit bugged out, man. You know what I'm saying? You're not in competition. You can't be in competition with men that's older than you. You see this dumb shit with, uh, what's his name? Alizar. As they call him, Alize, man. You know? Because you drunk, man. You got to think fully of yourself. These elder men, you know, they elder in you physically and in the spirit. Anybody that's like anybody older than you, you're elder, but obviously men that's 10 plus years older than you, that's your elder, man. That's an elder to you. This man taught you, that's your elder, man. How can you try to compete with that man? Esau understand that shit off. It takes to talk about that shit in that book, that shit called The 48 Laws of Power. You know, uh, don't outshine the master. You know, that's how you're trying to compete with your Howard Shah. You trying to, he say something, you're trying to one up your Howard Shah. You're not necessarily hearing a wise word and adding unto it, as it says, a wise man, you know, when a wise man heareth the wise word, he, he commended it and added unto it. You got that instance, but you also can have that look going on, but really it's just somebody trying to top you. You know, it's not necessarily a lamb back, if you will. You know, and it was just for what? For glory, vain glory, which is really hinting that you're trying to compete. But in lowliness of mind, let each esteem other better than themselves. See, that's what you're supposed to be doing. Letting each, it's supposed to be, everybody, let each esteem other better than themselves. That's that's the level you're supposed to be on, man. Why you think um, um, pretty much men take a back seat when another man talk, you know, a man be like, oh, I'm gonna let the elders speak, you know, uh, Salakia, 
You know, but men don't even care to address these things and assess these things for what they are, man. You know, the roles. And then that shows who isn't really trying to compete. You call them the elders, your brothers. They're not your brothers. So, and you find these traits amongst young dudes, man. You know, don't be some, you know, rockhead nigga, man. Everybody in the truth, your brother. You ain't got no taste. A man that taught you. A man damn near old enough to be your 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 father. Or your your, your father, man. You talking about your yes, your you know, and he taught you. You talking about some that's that's your that's your brother. You see what I'm saying? You have a hard time. You see, you, you can't even understand why that you know, you know, that even in the spirit, even if the man is young, because you so caught up. You, one, you young, you ain't got no experience. And, and, and two, you, you so caught up in um, competing, man. That vain glory and that stuff, you're going to lose something. You know? It's a he that, uh, you know, humble himself in the sight of the Lord. You know? He, he going to exalt him in due time, man. You're going to be exalted. You know? It make no damn sense, man. You're going to get your ass kicked out of your house. I talk, you trying to, you know, top the Lord. He said, oh, well. Well, what if, you know, get the hell out of here, man. You know, and it's not to say when you hear wise words, you don't add unto them. I didn't say that. But why you, when you do and find yourself in those moments, why are you doing that? In the NLT, don't be selfish. Don't try to impress others. You see, be humble thinking of others, see, as better than yourselves. Acknowledging men that's, you know, acknowledging, you know, what, the status is, what the rank is, what the order is, you know what I'm saying? Not to uh, esteem men, you know, above, you know, what they actually are, but you still supposed to, you know, it said, let no man think highly, more highly of himself than he ought, you know? You ain't really, really want to be in the high, high mind, it, but you need it at times so you can keep going. Because you can, what if you do it by you not utilizing that, you know, when it's in season? You fuck around and let an eater might come up and try to teach you the Bible. You see, so that shit bugged out. You can't be like that, you know. Um, this is uh, I'm gonna just get these quick scriptures. First Corinthians eleven, and uh, I'm gonna start at seventeen. Now, in this I declare unto you, I praise you not that ye come together not for the better, you see, but for the worse. See that for for first of all, when ye come together in the church. I hear that there be divisions among you, and I partly believe it. Yeah, the body can't even really be in unison because men trying to compete. It's me versus you. you. Basically, upon that, that's like separation. You know, I said this back in the, you know, uh, I used to say this before I came into the truth, and I really don't want to give, you know, uh, credence to that, but it's, it's, it, 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 it translated, it transferred it to being true. You know, and that's competition is a, competition is another form of hate. And the scriptures tell us we're not supposed to hate. Basically, he that hate his brother is a murderer. You know, you're not supposed to hate one another. You know, love thy enemy. You know, but pretty much it's the, obviously your people, but especially the, the believers of the household of faith. You know, but. Uh, Competition, if you look at it, it really is another form. Of, it's just another form of hate. That's all it is, man. Even if it, even if it's temp temporary, you have to, in order to truly compete, you basically have to hate the other party in some regard. If it's the idea of you winning, them succeeding, you seeing their success, you see what I'm saying? You have to, in order for you to truly compete, you have to hate the ideas of those things, man, you know, those possibilities, that manifesting in order to win, you know, so that, you know, that's for those that can receive it, it says, so, it, you know, that's just, that's just that, man, okay, and it says, for there must be also heresies among you that which they, that they which are approved may be manifest among you, 
So you're gonna see who 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 bought what, who really about it, man. You know? And I'm gonna just prove this. This is not a competition at all. You will hear Paul say, you know, how you run the race. No, no, you're not that. Let me grab that real quick. This is 1 Corinthians 9 and 23. And this I do for the gospel's sake, but that I may be partaker thereof with you. It says, it says, uh, no ye. So this is going into the cut of that not being true right here. And the NLT it also says, I do everything to spread the good news and share in its blessings. Verse 24, know ye not in the KJV, know ye not that they which run in a race, run all, but one receiveth the prize. So run that ye may obtain. This don't mean you competing with your brother. Yo, you really competing with yourself. And we're going to prove this. It says, don't, in the NLT, don't you realize that everyone that in a race, everyone runs, but only one gets the prize. So run to win. Don't you know Satan in this race? You know? Because on this race, there's Satan. So how the hell, think about it. You running a race, how, where the hell is Satan coming from? So it's, a, it's tons of things running after obtaining something. That's why I said, uh, uh, have Israel of not, you know, obtain it, not that which he seeketh for, but the election have obtained it, but the, and the rest were blinded. So it's, it's a race really to the end, you know, of what's going to be, you know, what, or what could be, you know, but really it's only going to be what's going to be, you see, Everybody heading in the same direction damn near, man. You know? Going in the spirit if you can receive it, man. That's why Satan can pop appear in the race, but Satan is completely trying to supposedly take you in the other direction. But he here. He's amongst us. So that's you know. It's many things that's trying to obtain something. So but the point is you're not competing with your brother, man. It says Verse 25, and every man that striveth for math for the mastery is temperate in all things. Now, they do it to obtain a corruptible crown, but we are incorruptible, you know? So, yeah, that's basically that. So, I'm a really sick of this shit, man. This is second, second Ezra 7, and I'm going to start at 2. And he said unto me, up, Ezra, and hear the word that I have come to tell thee. And I said, speak on, my God. Then said he unto me, the sea is set in a wild place that it might be deep and great, but put the case, the interests were narrow and like a river. Who then could go into the sea to look upon it if he went not through the narrow, how could he come into the broad? There is also another thing. A city is, is built it and set upon a broad field. That's what's at the end of the race. And it's full of all good things. You know, the entrance thereof is narrow and set in a dangerous place to fall, like as if there were a fire on the right hand and on the left a deep water. And one, listen, and one, and one only path between them both, right? Even between the fire and the water. So small, here comes the point, so small that there could but one man go there at once. You see, so you're not competing with nobody. You're there by yourself. you competing with yourself in reality, your demons. That's what you battling, man. You know, you completely bugged out if you think you're competing with your brother, you know, in all sincerity, in, you know. Seriously, you know, and if, and if you don't even really think that, but you just own that in your spirit, you think you can compete with, uh, you know, men that have experienced things you didn't even think was possible. Men that's damn near old enough to be your fathers. Men that taught you, you're bug the fuck out, man. You completely a bug out, man. You are a functioning bug out, you know? If this city now were given unto a man for the inheritance, if he never shall pass the danger set before it, how shall he receive this inheritance? You see? So every man has to go down that path one time. One person at a time. No one next to you competing. What's there is, is you and you. You got to get down there, man. You know? You competing amongst yourself. You know? You fighting against your demon. That's what you, that's what you trying to prove and you know, shine on. You trying to shine on your old man. Like, nah. You won't. You think you going you know, you think this old life and all this other carnal shit is better than this, but nah. I'm going I'm to stun on you and show this is better. You know? 
You know, you trying to tell me that vain glory is really glory, but now nah, I'm going to show you being on point, being on point with the brothers, the brotherhood, you know, in this ministry. That's the true glory, you know? Shit bug the fuck out, man. You know? No, brother, this, 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 you know? Hell out of here, man. Trying to hurry up and get things that other men got because you trying to, you know, compete with them. You know, you want what other men got. That's all envy for them. That's all envy and hate, you know, which is simply what uh, com do you competing, man, in the wrong ways. That shit is crazy, you know? Better stop. Yeah, you can't be like, we can't be, we cannot, man. We cannot afford to be thinking like this. You're battling yourself. Because really, in the moment that you think you're competing, that's proof in that same moment you're actually battling yourself, man. You know? Because you know it's off, but yet you're thinking that's right. So the, 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 comp the competition is amongst you. You know? You see? It's in your head. That brother outside of you. You know what I'm saying? That's, you know? He got like he's got his, he got his own shit he gotta deal with. He going down. He ain't worried about you. Bro's got whole other demons, whole other experiences, whole other shit they gotta deal with, you know, and and, and concerns. Bro's got whole households and families and shit, and you thinking you somebody competing with you. Ain't nobody competing with you. You know? You supposed to be seeing how everyone is competing, fighting. You know what I'm saying? And and, and 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 esteeming them better, man. And been fighting. You know? It's like when they try to make the Jordan and LeBron argument. It's kind of a hard argument because they're from two different times. It was it was different glories. Twitter wasn't around, man. Public opinion wasn't the same as it is as much as it is now, man. You see what I'm saying? You know, it was about, you know, different things, man. So you come on, man. But anyway, I go all day. It says what? And I said, it is so. It is so, Lord. Then he said he unto me, even so also is Israel's portion. You see? So this is what it actually is, man. Another scripture proving it. This is Second Timothy 2. And um, I'm going to start at 5. It says, I'm going to start at four. Man. No, I'm going to start at three. It says, for the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lust shall they heap to themselves, themselves teachers having um, itching ears, and they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned unto fables. But watch thou in all things, endure afflictions. Do the work of an evangelist, make full proof of thy ministry in the NLT verse five. But you should keep a clear mind in every situation. Don't be afraid of suffering for the Lord. For work at telling other people so I can tell others the good news and fully carry out the ministry. The most high how about has given you verse six. For I am now ready to be offered and the time of my departure is at hand. You see, it's a completely different, you know. Thing man, like you got it's different times given to men. Men got you don't know what the Lord told that man in the spirit world, you know, or what. You know, that shit is bugged out, man. It says verse seven, it says, I have fought a good fight, I have finished my course, I have kept the faith. You see, I have fought a good fight, I have finished my course, I have kept the faith. You see, henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness. Which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day. And not to me only, but unto all them that love his appearing. So as he said, know ye not that, you know, in the race run all, but, you know, only one retain, obtain the prize or run that ye may obtain. That never meant that you're competing and you're going to be the only one that can win this. And you know that. So how do you get caught up in this type of, you know, conduct? This, this How does the spirit get on you, man? You know? You ain't got no experience, really, because you ain't got no experience and you're not being humble. That's why, man. Okay, in the NLT, it says, I'm going to start at seven. It says, I have fought the, you know, I'm going to read eight. It says, 
I, and now the prize awaits me. The crown of righteousness with the Lord, the righteous judge, will give me on the day of his return. And the, pro, and this pro, and the prize is not just for me, but for all who eagerly look forward to his appearing. You know? So the competition, if you thought this before, is, is completely to be seen now to just be amongst yourself, man. You and your old man. You know, your rights, from what you know to be right, from what you know to be wrong. You know what I'm saying? Your spirit from your flesh, man. Verse 17, Galatians 5. For the lust, this is the last scripture, for the lust, for the flesh lusted against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary one to the other, so that ye cannot do the things that ye would. You know, this is what got you bugging the hell out. In the NLT, it says, the, sin, the sinful nature wants to do evil, which is the just, which is just the opposite of what the spirit wants. You see? And the spirit gives us the desire, give us desires that are opposite of what the sinful nature desires. These two forces are constantly fighting each other. So you are not free to carry out your good intentions. Why are you thinking, man, this brother, he he selling on this low, he doing this, he man, I, yeah, motherfucker. You know, he bugging out, man. That's your flesh. But then at the same time, you're like, man. I'm I'm happy to be amongst the brothers, you know, brothers, you know, uh, you know, you know, the elders, my elder brothers, the elder apostles. You see what I'm saying? Brothers with life experience that give me game. Brothers not can fuck competing with you, man. Brothers don't even know your 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 personal fucking life. So how the fuck, you know? Man, bro, I'm gonna just go ahead and say less and close out. It say <laughs> Verse 19 in KJV, now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these, okay? I'm going to jump to the point. Um, it says, uh, 20, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies. There it is, man. You ain't going to get in the kingdom. You know, that's what you're going to lose too. So that's what you compete in amongst, man. Because they're going to tell you in the next verse, you ain't going to get the kingdom of heaven doing that. You how about me all shot. Okay, and I'm going to get the last verse. This is verse 26. Let us not be desirous of blank, varying glory. You know, stay spiritual, man. It says, provoking one another, envying one another. You see, you don't want to do that. In the NLT, let us not become the conceited or provoke one another or be jealous of one another. And we're going to get that same scripture in the NASB translation, NSAB 95 translation. It says, let us not become boastful, challenging one another. You see, challenging one another, envying one another. Call, I'm like, how about Shmuel Shah? Shalom.